My name is Sarah Belassen, and I live in Rabat, the capital of Morocco. Morocco is located in northern Africa at the European Gates. The kingdom is bordering the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Rabat is located in the northwestern part of the country. It stands on the Atlantic coast at the mouth of the Buigreg River. The capital was classified in 2012 World Heritage of Humanity by the UNESCO. According to the 2014 census, Rabat population is around 577,827 inhabitants. The Rabat Saleh Kenitra region is the second biggest in Morocco in terms of economy and population. It's home to about 4.5 million inhabitants. The Burgreg River separates the agglomeration of the twin cities Rabat and Saleh. Its meanders flow in the amplitude of over 4,000 hectare valley. Emblematic landmarks punctuate the valley, such as the Mausoleum of Hassan, Udaya Kaspa, and the remains of the Shala. The Burgreg River is 240 kilometers long. Its source comes from the Middle Atlas and it discharges into the Atlantic Ocean between the cities of Rabat and Saleh. The valley is subject to a development project over 6,000 hectares to link the two shores. It spans from the estuary till Sidi Muhammad bin Abdullah Dam. The valley is surrounded by old and modern buildings. The old traditional houses are mainly built with sandstone and are located within the old Medina walls, while the modern buildings are built with bricks covered with cement. The Rabat Saleh Kenitra region is the third large, largest industrial region in the country. Rabat economy is dominated by services and the majority of the inhabitants of Saleh work in Rabat. The valley is the source of subsistence of a number of fishermen. Both river banks are home to businesses, cafes, restaurants, and residential neighborhoods, in addition to a number of monuments and sites of heritage. Current Climate Rabat is characterized by a subhumid and moderate Mediterranean climate. It is influenced by the circulation of two air masses, the continental air coming from the Sahara, and moist and unstable air from the Azores anticyclone. The average annual temperatures recorded at the Rabat station vary between 13 and 28 degrees Celsius. The hot season corresponds to the period between May and October, while the cold season is between November and April. Rainfall averages 485 millimeters per year, and the number of rainy days per year ranges from 60 to 75. There are two pluviometric seasons, wet season from October to April, when, all, when almost all rainy episodes are recorded and which represents 86 to 92 percent of the annual rainfall and a dry season from May to September. Severe weather events. Heat wave. Rabat is witnessing a tendency to rising heat waves. In May 1953, the city recorded high temperatures of 42 degrees Celsius. The last heat waves of June 2017 and August 2018 recorded a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Floods. Morocco recorded between 1951 and 2015 no less than 35 episodes of floods. On February 23, 2017, the cities of Rabat and Saleh underwent very bad weather, which blocked the traffic and flooded several neighborhoods of the Twin Cities. In less than four hours, torrential rains exceeded 80 millimeters in the two cities. Drought. North Africa suffers from water shortage. The average amount of water available is 1,200 cubic meters per person per year, as opposed to 7,000 cubic meters worldwide. In 2025, it is projected to reach 545 cubic meters per person per year. During the last 50 years, Morocco has gone from a drought every 10 years to two to three droughts per decade. From 1980 to 2000, two droughts of four years and one of three consecutive years were recorded. The droughts are becoming increasingly severe. As shown in the table, Morocco experienced a deficit in water supply for three dry periods from 1980 till 2001. Projected climate change. Temperature. According to the IPCC, over North Africa under the SRES A1B scenario, both annual minimum and maximum temperature are likely to increase in the future, with greater increase in minimum temperature. Another study suggests a temperature rise in North Africa between 2 and 3 degrees Celsius by 2050 under the A1B scenario conditions. 
The temperature rise for Morocco is estimated to 1.2 degrees Celsius in the SRES A1B scenario and 1 degree Celsius in the B1 scenario. Rainfall. According to IPCC, a reduction in rainfall over northern Africa is very likely by the end of the 21st century under the A1B and A2 scenarios. Another study shows that precipitation in North Africa is likely to decrease between 10 and 20 percent until the year 2050 under the SRES A1B scenario conditions. Key sectors and their vulnerabilities. The valley is prone to a number of vulnerabilities. Urban vulnerability. The development project of the Burgreg Valley will result into globally high to very high densities, with the construction of some 30,500 housing units planned to accommodate some 140,000 new inhabitants. The overall volume represents a large city divided by sections of neighborhoods on a site sensitive and vulnerable to natural hazards and climate change. In addition, the phenomena of urban heat island is a major threat to the valley and the cities of Rabat and Saleh. Tsunami and marine submergence. There is a relatively significant exposure of the west coast of Morocco to the risk of tsunami, with tsunami heights at the coast being of the order of 1 to 2 meters. 2030 projections show a low risk of submergence at the mouth of the Burgreg. However, there is an increase of approximately 16% of the potentially exposed areas to a risk of submergence for a 50-year frequency storm. Coastal erosion. The coastline of the Burgreg Valley is subject to a risk of coastal erosion deemed to be low by 2030, despite a potential rise of 20 centimeters in the water level at this time. This is mainly due to coastal protection pro projects planned as part of development of the valley. Flooding. The natural risks are dominated by flood. Floods are widespread in the Burgreg Valley for the 100-year flood reference. Projections by 2030 show that there could be an increase of water levels in the 100-year flood, varying between 20 and 35 centimeters. About 100,000 people potentially are exposed to river floods. Climate change could reduce the level of protection of existing water networks and developments and make flood warnings more and more frequent. Water Resources Management The water supply is ensured by the Sidi Mohammed bin Abdullah Dam on the Burgreg River. The availability of surface water regulated by the dam limits the incidence of droughts. By 2030, the impact of climate change could be significant on the availability of the Burgreg Dam's resource, with average inputs falling by as much as 30% and even up to 40%. The Burgreg Valley is home to housing, businesses, public establishments, networks, infrastructures on both shores. These vulnerabilities could lead to flooding of the ground floor, damage to buildings located on the front line, submergence of low points, beaches disappearance, and water shortage. Main affected sectors are residential neighborhoods, schools, health as major hospitals and clinics are in Rabat, which could lead to an increase in mortality, damage and wear of historic monuments, interruption of tourism, loss in revenue for businesses along the shores, and impact on traditional Moroccan bazaars, business interruption for the small boats owners that ensure the transport between the two shores, the transport at the Saleh Marina will be interrupted with the risk of boats damage, risk of lake biodiversity loss and fishermen activity interruption. Other activities along the shores could be interrupted as well, such as surfing and kayaking. Transboundary Impacts Floods are the major natural risk in the Burgreg Valley. As most of Saleh inhabitants live in Rabat, the capital of Morocco, a serious economic problem will result in case of flooding. The transport network will very likely be disrupted. Electricity supply could as well be disrupted. As Rabat is an administrative city and home to the parliament, there might be a risk on the country's governance due to administration's interruption. In addition, there is a high risk of prices increase.